Hi guys, this is Sadeh from Dwarven.com. In this video, we'll show you how to unlock the boot order on any Moto phone. So please take a backup of all that on your phone and let's get started. I'll also show you whether your phone can be unlocked or not. So we'll also perform that check. But first, let's carry out a few requirements of this article. So with that in mind, first and foremost, you have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. The debugging is required for ADB command and OEM unlocking is required to unlock the phone. So let's enable both these toggles. For that, go to settings. From settings, go to about phone. From here, device identifiers. Then tap on build number seven times. You are now a developer. Once that happens, go back. Again, go back, go to system, dev options, and now enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking. Then tap on enable. Likewise, also enable USB debugging. Tap enable it, then tap on OK. And with this, we have enabled both the debugging and the OEM unlocking. Once that is done, your next action is to get the, okay, you might get a prompt with regards to the USB debugging. Allow from this PC, tap on allow. And that is it, the debugging should now be enabled. Let's first verify that as well for verification. Please get the latest Android SDK from my article. The links are given all here. So get it, then start them onto the PC, you will get the following files as you could see. So type in CMD over here in the address bar, hit the enter key. Then type in the command of ADB devices and verify you are having an ID. As you could see, we are having this ID. So this signify that PC is able to see the phone in ADB mode and we are good to go ahead. If you're not having this ID, then change the USB cable, use a different USB port, re-enable USB debugging, tap on revoke USB debugging. So carry out these tweaks and verify you're having this ID. Once that is done, our next course of action is to boot up into fast boot mode. So let's get that as well. Type in the command of ADB reboot boot loader and hit the enter key. The phone should now be in the fast boot mode and it will take a few seconds. So let's wait for that to complete. And once it's in the fast boot mode, you'll have to verify if the fast boot is established or not on your PC. So type in the command of fast boot devices and hit enter. Okay, let me unplug it once again. And we are in the fast boot mode as you could see over here. Currently, we are not having any ID. So this signify that the PC is not able to see the phone in fast boot mode. It's just a driver issue. So you have to install fast boot drivers onto your PC. I will link that article as well regarding the fast boot drivers. Just give me a second. This is my article and the video is there as well. So get the fast boot driver from my article or see the video and get the job done. The drivers are over here. This is the, the mirror link. You may get the drive from any one of these links. Once you have got the drivers, just give me a second. Let me see if I have them or not. Telegram desktop. This is the drivers. Once you have got the drivers, extract them. And USB driver, the file is just one Android within USB INF. Let's not install the drivers onto a PC. This is only required if you are not having any ID over here. In my case, you could see there's no ID. This signify that the drivers are not installed. So in that case, right click on the Windows icon and choose device manager. After that, your phone should be shown here in the section of other device or the port in one of these two. This is my phone with a yellow mark, warning sign, right click on it, update drivers, browse my computer. Let me pick, show all devices, click on next. Wait for a few seconds, click on have disk, browse and choose that driver file. In my case, it was in this PC, C drive. Okay, let's go to home, downloads, telegram desktop, Windows 11 fastboot drivers, USB driver, and this is the file. Choose it, click on open, click on OK, and choose Android booter interface, the second one, not the first one. This is the fastboot drivers, click on next, click on yes. It has now been installed onto our phone, onto our PC, and you could now see our phone is now shown here under Android device. Now, if you use the command of fastboot devices, let me show you. We are now having this ID. So the fastboot drivers have now been installed onto our phone, onto our PC, and we could now move and unlock the phone. Currently, you could see it's shown as logged, secure. So the phone is currently logged. Let's now move ahead and unlock the phone. So for that, the steps are somewhat different because in case of the Pixel, nothing and OnePlus, you must simply use a fastboot command. That will not work here. You first of have to get an OEM unlock data. So copy the entire command from here, paste the command in notepad. In the CMD window, sorry, paste it here, hit the enter key and we have got the data. Copy this entire command from here. You may either paste the command in the notepad or in a online tool. You have to remove all this keyword and remove all the space as well, such that the command is in the single line as you could see over here. There should not be any space or there should not be any this bootloader keyword as well. Please remove all of them. 
so you can either do so manually from the notepad or simply go to this tool from here open it in a new tab and paste it over here hit submit and you could see it has removed all the spaces and all this keyword of bootloader we now have the command simply copy this command from here the entire or you may use this copy button as well so after that go to the moto bootloader unlock page let's go here and you have to log in via google account that is a must looks like you are in india let's see what it will do just give me a second okay let's skip that close it not required so scroll down and proceed anyway give it a few more seconds sign in to google account so guys we are now logged in scroll down once again and now paste the device id this is our device id so this is the one which we have got paste it here and now you will get the answer if your phone can be unlocked or not click on can my device be unlocked let's see now what happens whether it can be unlocked or not now scroll down click on yes i accept the terms and condition request unlock key unless you have a okay as you might be aware this will void your warranty as well and all data from your phone will be gone and this will void your warranty click on okay because we know that and now wait for a few more seconds you should have received the email via the unlock key via your email i just have got an email let me just verify it once and as you could see we have just got the unlock code this is our unlock code it was very fast in just a few seconds so once we have got the unlock code okay this is the site we have got the unlock code and now we have to simply use this command fastboot oem unlock and the unique key that is it and the task stands complete so let's now carry out this task so copy the unlock code from here and you have to now type in this command which is okay i agree is done this is also done we have now got the unlock key fastboot oem unlock first let's copy this command and, and paste the command in the cmd window over here give a space and now copy this unlock code which i've got by email paste the command over here in the cmd window just give me a second paste it here hit the enter key you will now get a prompt use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader which is this one and press the power key to confirm let's do so our phone will undergo a wipe and after a wipe the phone will be unlocked so just give it a few more seconds let me show you well that was very fast so our phone has now been unlocked and we could now easily flash all the roms of our choice you could see bootloader is unlocked the booting phone to fast boot mode so that's great to see this is the first way of verifying that the phone is unlocked there are a few other ways out as well i have an article on that check bootloader unlock status okay just give me a second bootloader status unlocked on dwight win that will be easier to search this is the one i made a video on that as well so in our case the easiest way is to simply use the cmd window and you could see we have got it over here it's unlocked still to verify by any other way out in case of the fast boot mode there is a command as well so the command is i suppose something like this fast boot get var all hit enter so over here i suppose is can be shown here as well let me see whether it is present over here or not it varies depending on the phone version bootloader secure yes radio storage type so in our case i guess this okay secure still you could see flashing unlocked so our phone is now unlocked warranty is void yes so this means it's unlocked now then you may now boot to the os for that type in the command of fast boot reboot or simply hit the st start the power button so type in fast boot reboot the first booting up will take up some time i guess around 30 40 seconds so let's wait for that to complete and after that i'll show you the oem unlocking status okay one more thing we have now got the warning sign as well you could see this also signify that the unlocking has been done successfully so there are quite a few ways of doing this job so after this give it a few more seconds and then we'll be back so as you could see our phone has undergone a reset which was quite obvious so that's not a cause of any concern skip the sim because that is not required me for now as of now set up offline that's fine more accept and continue next i'm just wanting to show you the oem unlocking status from the phone as well from the dev options which will take just a few more seconds so 
the phone is not getting ready more more next and it should take okay let me turn this off tap on next now and uh, gestures that is the one which i want next and well i use the dark theme always i love the black theme but black is okay it's somewhat more darker than any other oem still that's great to see go to my home screen this is the first time i'm using a motor phone and my first step was to i just bought this new phone and now i've unlocked it right away because that's what i like to do always anyways back to the point go to about phone device identifier tap on build number seven times go back go to system dev options oem unlocking could see udora is already unlocked so that is it that's all from this video if you have any query with regard to any of the steps let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching